you were uh, you had done the graduate in in London. Yeah. And but you didn't want to do the graduate in the United States. Well, knowing the American attitude uh, toward women, I was 46 when I did the graduate in in London, and then I was I would I was 48 when I would have you know done it in New York and. Look, I knew that that was setting myself up as a major target. You know, a 48-year-old woman showing nudity on stage in our country, where if you're 35, you're already too old. Well, part of it, I must confess, was, and forgive me, was an attitude of fuck you. You know? Damn it, I had recovered a great deal from the disease, I was mobile again, I was working well. I thought, you know, I, I'm just not gonna accept their evaluation. Uh, of course, we did get killed <laughs> in the press. However, we sold out every show for 11 months. <laughs> Take that, critics. <laughs> mm. Thank you. And I used to get the most extraordinary letters and messages from women. One of them that I'll never forget said, I have not undressed in front of my husband for 10 years, and I'm going to tonight. <laughs> I thought that was great. So it, actually, Mrs. Robinson was uh, a bit of a redemption. It was. It was. Here I was doing a full eight shows again on week. A week. I mean, I'd, I'd done that before, but this was very demanding physically, you know, and uh, a lot of working out, a lot of staying in shape, you know. Yeah, it causes a little fear and terror. 20 seconds naked on stage. So, uh, and, and it was the first time, really, in a long time, that I'd felt, okay, I'm back. It's my life again. It's my body again. Okay. Gave you your body back. Gave you yourself yeah. back. Yeah. So one of the things you said to me early on was that you, you could never have done Martha if you hadn't done Mrs. Robinson. No, nah, probably not. Probably not. Um, as much as I always wanted Martha, as much as I always dreamed of doing her, I needed to be sure of my own power, mm -hmm. of my own ability to, to uh, command an audience, huh? To bring them to, to I, I had, I needed a test before I could do Martha, mm -hmm. basically, I guess. Will you ever do Martha again? You know what's kind of cool? I, 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 thought, I am bilingual in Spanish because I grew up in South America and I just was sent a translation. So how about Buenos Aires, Mexico, and Madrid? If I can find the Spanish actors, wouldn't that be a gas? And I'd probably be about the first major American actress to do that. You know, don't you think? So that would be fun. Now, I have to tell you all something. I did not know this. This is the way she is. Because the last time we talked about it, you said, Martha's gone upstairs to bed. Well, she had. She did. But, you know, that was six months ago. So what other surprises do you have? What, what, what uh, else is next for Kathleen Turner? God, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going back to teaching. I teach at NYU. Um, um, like every year I teach a semester usually and I have a course that I call practical acting shut up and do it and that is my philosophy about acting don't talk about it show me get on your feet and do it you know then we'll work with what you've done and what, where you need to go and you know your process uh, but don't just sit there and talk about acting acting is not about talking about your feelings, or what you might do, or, you know, how you see yourself in blue. <laughs> you know, acting is, is acting. So, um, so I, I rather, so this summer, I think I'm teaching again uh, for NYU. 
And then I'm planning on being back in stay, on stage in the fall. Well, I, I, you can probably all see why I, I tell my friends that I feel like I got a year's free psychotherapy. <laughs> the of I didn't know you this said that. Kathleen, <laughs> <laughs> because I sort of got to work my way through all of all, all, all of her issues. And, oh, um, we're not done yet. And, no. And, 